Hey, how's it going? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. For the top end of Australia, stinger season officially begins next week. But for 13-year-old Indy, it arrived early. She ended up in hospital after getting stung by a deadly irukandji. My tummy started to feel really, like, sick and my chest started to feel really tight and then my legs started feeling just aching and stuff. Indy Young is describing the feeling of getting stung by a box jellyfish, the tiny but extremely venomous Irukandji jellyfish. She was out kite surfing when it happened. The outer layer of my skin, it was like needles, but the real pain that like was the worst bit was, it was like I was, a, it was like a big cramp. Irukandji are really small. Their bells can be about the size of a pea, while their tentacles can reach a metre long. Their venom can make people really sick, and in some cases, people have died. We knew that it was a little bit more serious than just a little bit of stomach pain. Expected that it could have been a Uruganji, and uh, it was. We got her to the hospital as she was in a lot of pain. Stinger season officially starts on the 1st of October and lasts right through to the end of May, but jellyfish can still make appearances throughout the dry season as well. Experts say the best advice is just to stay out of the sea at this time of year if you can, and to make sure you're wearing protective clothing that covers your whole body. Indy's already thinking about her next trip, but says she'll be wearing a stinger suit. I can't wait until I can get back out there. Archaeologists in Egypt have unearthed dozens of coffins buried more than two and a half thousand years ago. They were found in an ancient burial ground south of Cairo near several pyramids. The wooden sarcophagi are pretty special. They're painted and covered in hieroglyphs. Archaeologists are still trying to work out where they came from and who's actually in them. India's Taj Mahal has reopened. It's been closed for six months because of COVID-19, but now authorities have decided to reopen the 17th century tomb to visitors, although not as many as in the past. Now from the Taj Mahal to Taj Farrant. That's a person, not a building. He's an 11-year-old Aussie rocker who's already made a name for himself around the world. And now he's releasing his first single. Carlos Santana, Rob Thomas, Kiss. Not too many 11-year-olds can say they've played guitar alongside these rock and roll icons. Well, unless you're Taj Farrant. Taj has been playing since he was super young. My dad took me to ACDC concert when I was six. And then I saw Angus play Shook Me All Night Long and I was like, yep, I just want to do that for the rest of my life. And since then, he's been trotting the globe, playing with some of rock's biggest names. It is pretty cool because, for one, it's Santana and you always look up to someone like that and then there I am standing next to him. Taj has even tested his talents out on Australia's Got Talent and made an appearance on The Ellen Show. Nice now Taj has gone and released his debut single, Just Can't Sleep. Me and my friend Jake, we were just in here writing stuff in the studios and we needed uh, a song. So we started playing around on the guitar and then we came up with Just Can't Sleep. Taj has already got heaps of fans and followers online, but he can't wait to play for them again for real. Take us out, Mr. Farrant. Now it's time for some cheeky creatures wreaking havoc on the soccer field. Just because they can. It's time for Pitch Invaders. Hmm, it's hard to tackle a macaw, as this Brazilian player now knows. The pesky parrot swooped in and landed on her head during the national women's team training in Rio. Ah, I guess that's macaw one, Brazil nil. <laughs> And Oscar the Alpaca made his debut as attacking midfielder in this game in England. Just before halftime, Oscar galloped over from a neighbouring farm to kick some goals. Or some players. Not sure which. The game was put on hold for around 20 minutes before Oscar finally returned to his usual field. Eh, I guess we'll call this one a draw. Hmm, if you want to see more quirky pitch invaders, then make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. No promises, though.